Hi, here I'm Dr. Zell, and the topic is acute appendicitis. Before discussing acute appendicitis in detail, we must know what is appendix. Appendix is also called the vermiform appendix. This is driven from the Latin word vermiform means worm-like or shape. And appendix is driven from the word appendere, which means hang upon or an addition. This structure is 8 to 9 centimeters long and that is less than 6 millimeters in diameter. Once inflamed, that is called the acute vermiform appendix, also called the appendicitis and presents with definitely the signs that is the painful, that is reddish, that is swollen and with a loss of function. Acute appendicitis, it is the most common abdominal emergency requiring urgent abdominal surgeries. And one of the common cause of acute abdominal pain so common the condition in general radiological practice where is the chronic appendicitis is an uncommon entity acute appendicitis may be simple or complicated depending on whether the patient has developed significant sequel that is gangrene abscess or perforation Appendix is also called a safe house because it is housing and cultivating the beneficial gut flora that are called the bifidobacteria that can repopulate the digestive system following an illness that wipes out the normal population of the flora. The annual incidence of uh, acute appendicitis is 10 cases per 100,000 and typically affecting the children and young adults is due to one of the reason that due to large proportion of a lymphoid tissue in this age group hence become inflamed and obstructed and other reason is excessive use of confectionaries and sweets which prolongs the colon transit time and therefore causing the appendicitis. The incidence of acute appendicitis is more in case of male as compared to the females. The reason is not yet clear. Acute appendicitis is much more commoner in summer months the incidence of acute appendicitis is more in western peoples particularly because of their diet which is usually the fast foods which have the low fiber diet resulting in prolonged colon transit time resulting in acute appendicitis the incidence of uh, acute appendicitis has been associated with certain bacteria and pathogens such as Histosoma mansoni, Enterobius vermicularis, Ascaris and and Amoeba histolytica. There has been also the familial predisposition has been reported with related to the acute appendicitis. The base of appendix is located 2 cm beneath the ileocecal wall. Knowing common positions of appendix helps on the time diagnosis of acute appendicitis. Variable positions of appendix may mislead wrong diagnosis resulting delayed diagnosis and may lead to the perforation. However, the positions of uh, the appendix are like 64% it is retrocecal. 
where as 32% it is in pelvis and 2% it is subsecal and 1% that is preileal. The sympathetic afferent fibers of appendix arises from T10 segment of the spinal cord thus explaining why the visceral pain of early appendicitis is felt centrally within the abdomen. The classical presentation of acute appendicitis consists of periumbilical pain that is refer pain which within a day or later localizes to the McBurney point which is associated with fever, nausea and vomiting. Children often present with vague and unspecified signs and symptoms. The general signs and symptoms are likely the pelvic pain, diarrhea and tenesmus in case of pelvic appendix where the flying pain is associated with retrocecal appendix. If it is a growing pain that is associated with appendix which is within the inguinal hernia or the right upper quadrant pain in case of subhepatic appendicitis. Acute appendicitis can be diagnosed due to certain signs such as rousing sign that is the palpation of left inguinal fossa causing the right inguinal fossa pain that occurs due to irritation of overlying peritoneum. Another sign by which acute appendicitis can be elicited is Blumberg sign that is actually the rebound tenderness which causes the pain upon removal of pressure. Acute appendicitis can be elicited through another sign that is called the source sign which is assisted by having the patient lie supine and placing your hand just above the knee as the patient lifts the right leg against the resistance of your hand the motion causes the friction of a source muscle over the inflamed appendix resulting causing the pain. Acute appendicitis can be elicited by the means of obturator sign. It is actually a discomfort felt by the patient on slow movement of a hip joint while the right knee is flexed causing inflamed appendix in contact with obturator internus muscle resulting in pain. Several clinical predictions and decision scores rules have been developed to improve the diagnostic accuracy and reduce the rate of negative appendectomies, some of which are in routine clinical use such as Alvarado score, appendix score. In children, the clinicians sometimes use other scores such as PAS score or PARC score. Appendicitis is typically caused by obstruction of appendicular lumen with resultant buildup of a fluid, superior inflammation, secondary infection, venous congestion, ischemia and necrosis. Obstruction may be called due to lymphoid hyperplasia that is 60%, appendicolith that is 33%, foreign body that is 4% and may also due to Crohn's disease, strictures, tumors and due to parasite infestations. 80 to 85 percent of adults with appendicitis have white blood cells count greater than 10,500 cells per microliter. There is also neutrophilia that is greater than 75 percent 
occurs in 78% of the patients. CRP levels are greater than 1 mg per deciliter. Urine tests may show proteinuria. The X-ray examination of uh, appendicitis, it is neither sensitive nor specific, but can provide clues on radiographs. In this radiograph, here you can see the presence of calcified appendicolith. Where is in this radiograph? Here you can see ruptured appendicitis and arrows. Note the presence of an ill-defined mortal gas pattern within the right inguinal fossa with an air fill level caused by the ruptured appendix. Here you can see a foreign body that is spent up in the right lower quadrant. Upon transfer of the pan become localized and persistent to the right lower quadrant Further, an ultrasound showed a foreign body that is pent up within the appendix. Ultrasonography that is the primary test in children, pregnant women and young women. The findings on ultrasonography may be a prestalytic non-compressible dilated appendix that is greater than 6 mm in diameter may show hyperechoic appendicolith with posterior acoustic shadowing may show echogenic pericycle and periappendicial fat may show periappendicial fluid collection may show distinct appendicial valves and target appearance on this ultrasonograph, here you can see normal versus abnormal appendix. A normal appendix have the diameter that is less than 3 mm, where in case of uh, abnormal appendix would be looking dilated tubal structure with diameter greater than 6 mm. And here you can see the adjacent echogenic fat. In this ultrasound graph, here you can see a fecolith which really causes 35% of the cases of appendicitis. Where here in this ultrasound graph, you can see there is no apparent cause for a mechanical obstruction found and causing 65% of the cases. Please subscribe my channel for more videos and updates. Video